Hello everybody, it's Friday and that means it's time for another topic of the week. So, first things first, well, Tom is here. Hi Tom. Hello friends. So this will be one of those rare topics where someone's visiting me. Uh, and what we're going to talk about will end up being relevant to both of us. One of the reasons Tom visited, but first things first, really, is last week's topic, Shadespire. Seems like a lot of people are pretty excited for it, are going to pick it up. I think at the very least, what most people said was what I said. Worst case, this is just more models for us with the game we're already playing. So even if you're not interested, at least you end up with more models, which I think is the right attitude to have. Who cares if it's not your game? I like more options for models. So there we go. Uh, but this week's topic. This week, we're going to talk about the reason Tom's here. You came down so we could work on a display board. And I want to talk about display boards, Tom. Uh, so for those who don't... What do you want to talk about? Do you just want to bitch? Is this... No, I'm not going to do that. Well, a little. But first, I want to set the stage, because not everybody might know what a display board is, right? I mean, if you're not a regular tournament goer, this is a thing you would never otherwise create. <laughs> right? There is no purpose to this beyond uh, being a tournament goer. No, like, I use my display boards. Be yeah. Why did you make them? I mean, the tournament is what started. It. Would you make one without it? Maybe. Liar. You are a dirty liar. You would make terrain for a table. All right, a display okay. board is a two-by-two two section of something, usually like a piece of wood or MDF or something, that then is like decorated with terrain or whatever that's for your army to sit on. And the general concept is when you go to a tournament and your army's going to be judged for painting, you have this display board that your army sits on. And lots of tournaments have painting uh, competitions where like maybe one point mm -hmm. of the... Um, a sort of the painting rubric is, you know, how, how do you have a display board, yep. right? Um, so, and if you're really going after all the points, like if you want to win, you can't leave points on the table, so you've got to show up with a display board. And, you know, I've seen some very nice ones, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, once Bitten had a fun one classically that was like a little city mm -hmm. he used for his empire uh, troops. He had built a little, uh, like, empire yep. city. Um, Tyler Mangle had the uh, pyramid. Yes, Tyler's yeah. absolutely stunning. He has the uh, the sort of Tomb King's Pyramid with the, uh, like, uh, sort of... The causeway. Uh, yeah, thank you. The causeway going out from the middle. It's absolutely beautiful. Look it up on his blog. It, it is, like I will say, it's it's very pretty. And that's just it. I've seen some amazing ones that have, like, LED work in them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, just like... I was this close to LED work on this board. Yeah. I understand that. Okay. And that's exactly what I want to talk about. These, I, I have a unique and singular hatred of display boards because they are non-functional things. You don't like terrain, though. I don't like terrain. Making terrain. I like terrain on my table, right? I love lots of terrain on my table. I don't like making or painting terrain. That's just not what interests me. But that being said... So this is like making terrain on a global scale. This is like making terrain that has no actual purpose in life. Because let's say you're an avid tournament goer. Sure. Okay. Sure. How many tournaments do you go to a year? Uh, probably, like, if you're truly an avid tournament goer. Avid tournament goer. Uh, probably twelve. Sure. One a month. Yeah, one a month. Real yeah. tournaments. Yeah, like a person with a real life would probably do, you know, twelve. Max of one yeah. a month. Like of, re of traveling. I'm assuming like that. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. You don't live in some hotbed, so yeah. so let's assume that seems like a reasonable maximum, right? Like that's sure. a pretty avid yeah. tournament goer yeah, yeah, going yeah, yeah, to one yeah. a month. So that means 12 days out of the year for less than the whole day for some portion of the minutes in between the games you're playing at those tournaments, this thing has a purpose, right? Yes. Otherwise, it's, it's sitting to the side board, of the table, if it's only being in the way, etc. Now, you're right. I think where you're going to go is you could build this thing as a two-by-two two section of terrain you actually put onto your table. Yes. Right? and, and That's what my Nurgle board is. Sure. Which is fine. In that case, I suppose it actually has now crossed into being useful. And that's my whole point. Sure. But, like, that's not most display boards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they wouldn't yeah. even fit onto most people's table. Like, you have to build a modular table of two-foot squares yep. to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not just going to sit at... Because a lot of times they're like this. Yeah. Like, very thick. And, and based, you know, to be heavy, because they need to be sturdy, right, to support all your troops. The last thing you ever want is the thing cracking in half and everything falling. So, to me, it's like... I'm, it, it, it is of dubious use. And it, it happened because somebody did it one time because they were passionate about it. 
Yeah. Right? And by the way, if you really love your display board, if you like put a bunch of time into it, you're like Tyler Mangle where you made something beautiful, this is not me trying to like rain on your parade. Uh, Armies on Parade. Like the heart of Armies on Parade is making a display board. Sure. Yeah. Yes. The, hey, me uh, medals were awarded for that. And in I fact, understand. Armies on Parade is coming up in like three weeks. Like up like three weeks, yeah. Great. You know what? Let's blame Armies on Parade then. Maybe they're the... I don't know what the root cause of this nonsense is. But but nonsense it is. Um, I've never liked it. I've, I've, I just... I absolutely despise it. Now, I'll admit that's my own personal bias. But that's what this video is about. So, what I want to know, the questions I want to talk about is, do you like display boards? Do you like making your display boards? Do you find them to be interesting? And most importantly, do you use them for anything except, now I would say the average tournament goer is probably, what, three to five tournaments a year? Yeah. You know, like if you're yeah. the, the sort of the bell curve of tournament goers, like if you, if you are a tournament <laughs> goer, you're probably more in the three to five a year range of yeah. like real tournaments, not yeah. just you pop down to the local shop for a couple of games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, something that has a full painted competition or something like that in it. Um, do you use your board for anything else or does it just sit in a closet soaking up space? And they're big too, by the by. Two by two, in fact. Yeah, unless, and, and usually uh, tall, like, because there's usually crap on top. It's not just a flat surface. Unless you're like my board, which is like the R board that we're working on, which is two by two by two. Correct, yeah. You know what I want to do? I want to make like a, a, a Seraphon, a lizard man board that's just space. Space. Yeah. I thought about that. Just a flat plane and just like do the spray well, no. paint. Well, like, I'm going to do the space. Artist. No, do yeah. the, do, so do the space and then paint your Seraphon as like the glowing like space and then do all their edges as like a point, like constellation. So you do like them as stars. And make a, do edging like edge high, edge highlight constellations on. No, nah, I got it. It's it's just open space, and I go buy a pyramid from a fish tank store, and it's just that's the floating pyramid. Then they okay. all are sitting out there because they're just ghosts. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, that's true. They can just be out in space. They don't die from space. Yeah. So you could like ghost paint them like a night haunt, like like yeah, white, that far. like, like the yeah. salon remembers them being brightly colored. So. No, no, you are putting way too much work into it. You paint the salon, uh -huh. and then everything else is ghost painted. Sure. This will be like the simplest display board slash army. So, anyway, yeah. that's what I want to talk about this week. Because Tom spent, like, I just spent the last hour and a half, two hours even, perhaps, working on this display board Doing for this thing. Doing some texturing. Thank you, Vince. Yeah, you're more than that, but sure. Uh, happy to help. Now, now, to be perfectly fair, Tom's going to plow an order of magnitude plus maybe two and i over i've already spent like a week and a half yeah into this yeah. thing so like yeah. it's tom's doing the majority of the heavy lifting let me be very clear here um I, so i set aside a month to do this board so kudos to tom he's a good guy because he knows i hate this but mm -hmm. i want to know what you think and by the way feel free to tell me i'm wrong and you love them and they're great and tell me the reasons why because maybe i'm missing something and if you tell me it's the aesthetic of it i love seeing my army on it all right, I have no good answer for that. I will say, to me, I gain no great value out of it. When I look at them, I'm like, that's real nice. But I want to know what you think. So drop it in the comments below. As always, make a response video. That will be, I'll link those response videos down below. You can also see last week's topic, which was about Shadespire. That's linked right down there. But uh, now Tom and I are going to go back to working on this stupid board. Everybody have a good night. And we'll see you next time.